This is an introduction to raw file processing in Starry Landscape Stacker version 1.9, Starry Sky Stacker version 1.4, and Long Exposure Stacker version 1.5. All three programs use essentially the same raw file processing. I'm using Starry Landscape Stacker to illustrate this instructional video. So I have four files here. Two of them are dark frames and two of them are light frames. I will open them. And the first thing that happens is I get this panel for adjusting the raw conversion settings. These are your factory defaults that you can change in the preferences, and we will get to that in a moment. Uh, you can adjust the exposure. Typically, for most of these, you're probably not going to change anything, but you can adjust the exposure. If you're underexposed, you can compensate a bit. This, this is calibrated in exposure value. So plus one is plus one EV all the way up to plus three, which would be a lot of adjustment. You typically won't need anywhere near that much. You can adjust the contrast. Leaving it at one is probably the right thing to do if you're using dark frames or if you're using long exposure stacker. If you're not using dark frames and you are using starry landscape stacker or starry sky stacker, you might want to bring this down just a little bit. Uh, luminance noise reduction, you probably don't need any of that. I don't use color noise reduction, at least I have not been using color noise reduction, but uh, someone I know and trust says a little bit of color noise reduction during the raw conversion, and then a little bit more in your final processing in Photoshop or your favorite image editing tool gives a better result than if you start out with no color noise reduction and then finish it in Photoshop with a little bit more. I haven't tried that yet. I can't tell you for sure that works, but it's something that you can play with to find out what works best for your camera. Finally, the white balance. You can change these and the white balance settings you use will be applied to all of your images identically, which is of course what you want to do. Uh, in this case, these are defaults that I've entered in my preferences and we'll see in the preferences some other options when we have these set the way we want, we just hit done and our files are red. In this case, there's two darks and two lights and Starry Landscape Stacker is asking us to confirm that. And here are our images. Now let's look at the preferences that we can use to control our, uh, the defaults that we see in the raw file processing. You can choose your working profile. The default is Pro Photo RGB. Uh, you can also change it to Adobe RGB if you want. We have defaults for the exposure and contrast, and those are what I think most people should be using. You, as I said before, you might want to consider increasing your color noise reduction if that works for you and your camera. The white balance is a bit complicated. You see you have two choices here to start with this is with this radio button. You can copy the white balance from the first raw file to all raw files. That would be appropriate if you use a manual white balance and you always set it correctly. I choose the second option because I always use auto white balance, which works fine during the day, but at night it's always wrong. So I choose this second option and I use these values, which are appropriate white balance values for night photography. If you're a beginner using auto white balance, this is probably the right thing to do. If you're an experienced night photographer and you're using manual white balance, you might want to change to copying the white balance from the first raw file into all the others. Now, that's for Starry Landscape Stacker and Starry Sky Stacker. For Long Exposure Stacker, the default is to copy from the first raw file because in the case of Long Exposure Stacker, you're probably stacking day images and using auto white balance or manual white balance, whatever you've done, the right answer is almost certainly to copy the white balance from the first raw file into all the others. So let me restart this to factory defaults for Starry Landscape Stacker. And there's one last thing here to talk about and that's the warnings. If the white balance of a bunch of files is changed on read, you can get a warning I can't remember for sure if it's off by default or on, but if it's on by default, it can get very annoying, so you can turn it off. There's also a warning if the image orientation is changed, and this can happen if you are using a master dark frame or a master flat field frame, where the camera orientation when you made the master dark or the 
master flat field was different than the camera orientation for the light frames you're processing. Starry Landscape Stacker will automatically correct that and make sure that uh, the art camera orientation is the same for all. And it will warn you if it changes it. Uh, you might want to know about those warnings. You might not. By default, you will know about those warnings and you can turn it off by checking here. Or also when the warning comes up, there's a checkbox to always hide it. And then you could come here and turn it back on. So that's all the preferences that you have in all three of the applications. And that's how you do uh, control your raw image processing.